Good morning. This is Bill from the Auto House of Naples, and man, do I have a treat today. This is a 1983 Mercedes-Benz 240D sedan, W123 chassis, four-cylinder diesel, four-speed manual gearbox, and this is automotive perfection. Don't laugh, I mean it. I think this is the finest machine Mercedes-Benz has ever made in terms of longevity, durability, build quality, design. This thing is incredible. Uh, you know, they sold more diesels in the United States during this period than they did gas engines. And globally, this car is an icon. You see them all over the world, in the deserts of uh, Saudi Arabia to the mountains of Switzerland. You'll find 123s plodding along, still serving their owners. Uh, dependably and faithfully and uh, that's just what made them such incredible cars it's a rolling bank fault the build quality is epic uh, you know and the styling is quite gorgeous look at the chrome around the windows the chrome uh, uh, anti-ding strip that surrounds the whole car uh, the hubcaps with the Mercedes stars on them the big chrome bumpers uh, the very stout styling the high roof line and the beautiful quad lamps up front with the yellow fogs uh, I just love this car, love everything about it. It's got Old Faithful written all over it. Uh, you see these things with three, four, five hundred thousand miles and more, still on the original engine, on the original build, uh, just plugging along, which is what they do. Uh, you close the doors, it sounds like a bank vault. Beautiful Mercedes grille that harkens back to more vintage models. Uh, I just love everything about it. Let me show you in the trunk before we uh, move forward on the car. Here you can see a nice huge trunk. All the uh, stuff you need can fit in there. Uh, underneath this uh, carpet panel, you've got the original spare and jack and tools. Here in the back seat, uh, you can see everything as it should be. Beautiful big uh, center console has been extended there. Even the way that goes up from the bottom is kind of interesting. Uh, up there on the uh, uh, dash panel, sorry, the package shelf. You can see the carpet still in great shape. Uh, sometimes the sun gets to that uh, toolkit cover, but in this case, it's nice and intact. Still has the factory toolkit there. Everything a wounded German might need. Uh, the nets behind the seats in great shape. The door panels in great shape. Uh, you know, the MB Techs in this car, uh, which is, you know, Mercedes version of uh, uh, vinyl, absolutely indestructible. If there's ever a nuclear holocaust, there's going to be two things left, and that's cockroaches and MB Techs. You just can't kill it. Uh, there are cars that were smashed 30 years ago, sitting in junkyards, and the seats with a little bit of cleaning look as good as these ones do in this 74,000 mile car. And yeah, I did say that right. Very rare to find one of these cars with such low original mileage. Only 74,000 on the clock. Uh, this thing's barely broken in. All right, under the hood, there is that legendary uh, four-cylinder diesel. It's not the most powerful engine in the world. It does get great gas mileage. But the thing about it is, I mean, look at the... Uh, the way the oil cooler is though. I mean, it's, it's like off a submarine. Uh, this is the fuel filter here, uh, power steering. You know, look at the design and the build quality. It's so overdone in terms of durability and, uh, and construction. You know, everything on this car is, is sort of, uh, I won't say over-engineered, although that's the famous thing they say about, uh, you know, the German cars, but it is over-engineered in the sense of being reliable. Uh, very easy to maintain incredible materials and build quality and man this thing will just keep going and going and going and that's what it's all about and it was designed to be serviced uh, you know like a lot of times you're working on a car under the hood trying to do something and it's uh, you know the hood keeps banging into your head well on this car they've cleverly put in a service position so you can run the hood straight up and down. You've got all the room above your head in the world if you need to pull the valve cover and adjust the valves or you know, do something else. Uh, you're able to do it with no problem and no interference. There's that beautiful Mercedes star emblem on the hood. Uh, one prong pointing to land, sea, and air. They're gonna dominate on all three. And if, <laughs> if they'd kept building cars like this, my God would they? Uh, I don't think uh, they could build a car like this today in terms of the 
um, you know, the build quality, the people who put it together, the amount of money they made, the materials they used. This thing would probably be $180,000. Uh, you can see the, uh, uh, continu uh, the condition continues everywhere. Very, very nice door panels up front. No cracks in the dashboard. Uh, you know, no sun damage at all. The wood looks to be in terrific shape. Very, very glossy, very proper. Uh, the doors still close with that beautiful bank vault sound and uh, everything is as it should be. And there's really just nothing on this car to break. Uh, you know, it doesn't have power seats. It doesn't have power windows. Uh, these things work, you know, smoothly and flawlessly like the day they were new. Again, totally over-engineered. Let's crank it up. Float plugs off, fires right to life the way it has for the last 30 years and the way it will keep doing for many, many years to come. Let's get our seatbelt on and we'll go for a spin. Again, no cracks in the dash, incredible shape. Look at the condition of the wood in the car, exceptional. Still has that beautiful Becker Europa uh, that it came with. A lot of times you see that replaced, not on this one. Beautiful original stereo. Uh, you know, the quality of the headliner, incredible. Uh, you know, everything about this car just reeks of being made for, uh, you know, heavy duty, long haul ownership. And away we go. Uh, you know, this is one of the peppier 240Ds I've been in. Of course, that has to do with the very low miles and also very good maintenance. Uh, you know, one of the things is with cars, if you maintain them, if you treat them well, you know, they'll last a long time and they'll reward you. Uh, these 123 chassis diesels, including this 240D, you can abuse, you can brutalize them, you can do terrible things to them, and they still keep running and firing up and doing what they're supposed to do. So uh, this car, which has had the good maintenance on this incredible chassis, uh, there really is no reason you can't keep driving it indefinitely. It goes down the road nice and smooth. There's no heavy play in the steering wheel, uh, no looseness. Feels absolutely beautiful to drive the way many of them don't, you know, because they've been lacking really basic maintenance on bushings and such. Of course, this has low miles, so uh, anything that hasn't been replaced is still in good shape. And of course, this car was gone through and, uh, you know, very, very good maintenance in terms of bushings, motor mounts, tranny mounts, that sort of thing has all been done to this car. So there's no vibration coming through the steering wheel. Uh, the steering is tight and nice. Everything feels proper. Uh, this really is one of the best 240Ds or best 123 chassis cars that I've seen in years. Uh, it, uh, you know, takes me back to feeling how it must have felt when the car was new and you picked it up and you drove home just wowed by the incredible solid build quality of your new Mercedes. So, uh, look, if you have an interest in this amazing 123 chassis, 240D, 83, 74,000 miles, beautiful Orient Red outside, Palomino MB Techs inside. Uh, this is the right car. Give us a call, 239-273-1150. That's 239-273-1150 on the web at autohousenaples.com. Thank you for having a look today. We appreciate it, and we will see you with the next one. Take care.